I wanted to take some time out for this video segment to talk about fibroids and sex. It's a topic that is one of the most commonly searched topics on our website, and so I wanted to take some time and to look into that topic. Fibroids can be a real pain. It can be a pain literally and figuratively, and so it's not hard to understand how that could interfere in one's sex life. Fibroids are very hard and firm tumors, and they can enlarge a woman's abdomen, making her look like a pregnant woman. An enlarged uterus looking pregnant can often affect a woman psychologically such that she feels um, less attractive and has a low self-esteem um, looking pregnant. And so she's not as interested in sexual relations because she doesn't feel good about herself. She can also feel weak and tired and fatigued from the anemia that the fibroids cause. A lot of women with fibroids have heavy menstrual periods which can lead to anemia, a deficit of iron and hemoglobin. And this causes fatigue and weakness and being tired. And let's face it, sex is exercise. Okay, we've talked about what happens with fibroids and how they can affect your sex life, but what can I do about it? Well, there are a number of things you can do while you're trying to figure out which treatment option for your fibroids. The first thing to do is to try seeing if there are perhaps positions that are more comfortable. There are other aids like foam wedges that can change the tilt of the pelvis in a woman that can also be used to try to see if there is a more comfortable position. Ultimately, the fibroids will need to be treated, particularly if the woman is anemic. Some of the things that are being tried to help with the anemia, the first line therapy is either a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicine like ibuprofen or birth control pills, a hormone. It can help some people and it can help you in the short term but ultimately, a lot of patients need something more definitive done for their fibroids. And essentially, there are two treatment options that are definitive. You can have surgery. Surgery is an option, either surgically trying to get out some of the fibroids, called a myomectomy, or surgically removing the uterus, a hysterectomy. The other treatment option, which is non-surgical, is the uterine fibroid embolization procedure. It's completely non-surgical, performed as an outpatient. It treats every fibroid in the uterus. Without a blood supply, the fibroids will soften and shrink, and as they do, a woman's symptoms will start to disappear. Once the fibroids are treated with UFE, the anemia will start to go away. As the periods get lighter and lighter, the hemoglobin and iron levels rise and she will no longer be anemic. Similarly, as the fibroids are softening and shrinking, her uterus is getting smaller. And so the pregnant looking uterus goes away. It feels better. She no longer has discomfort in her abdomen or pelvis. And so sex after UFE is often much more attractive to a woman. She feels more like having sex. She can exercise. She feels better about herself. Uh, and so um, this takes care of those concerns that she had previously. Oftentimes, sex is no longer painful. Um, when these fibroids are pressing on things, either on pelvic nerves or on the cervix, after UFE, that's no longer the case this pain will resolve. So when a woman is not having pain anymore, either in her pelvic area um, or from the cervical pain or pressure from these fibroids, she feels more like having sexual relations um, and not avoiding sex um, like she was previously. Because the recovery time for UFE is a matter of days versus a matter of weeks for surgery, a patients can return to sexual activity much quicker, uh, and so um, you can resume normal activities much quicker with UFE than with 
the corresponding surgical options. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends and family.